Hello everyone, this is CT Jet, and welcome back to another video. So, in this video I will be showing you my latest level, which is the rocket building level thing, build your own rocket. So how this works, I can raise and lower my claw, and yes, this is not the best. Uh, I was doing this, and it didn't work out. My next version will have fuel tanks, it'll have everything. Uh, auto assembly, so you just pick a part and it'll go to it, and auto assembly. But uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to build a rocket, and then I'm going to show you how it works. So let's go ahead and go over to our rocket. This module for the bottom, which I'm going to use the uh, the large rocket engines. So. Now, I just have to align it, drop it, open, oops, that's close, open, and ra- oh, oh. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't always work. As I said, it's not the best. Perfect. Now let's go to the next one and get it again, because I suck. I'm I have my own levels. It's true. If I don't sound the best, I, I was I'm sick with a cold. Yeah, and I hate him. All right, so we got our first engine. <clears throat> now I'm going to build a simple rocket. So let's uh let's shorten this down so it can fit in this gap, and let's get a shroud. Not a shroud, a uh, an adapter decoupler is what I called it. And let's uh, put this thing on now. When you're assembling this, first of all, you don't want to go too fast because you can glitch the parts inside of each other. And uh, you also want to make sure these pegs are lined up. I'll be right back. Dang dogs. Am I right? Uh, uh, no, okay. I'm not right, apparently. So now I have to get this lined up. And as I said, it's not the best, so it's not easy. Gotta get over there if I can. Just uh, get this on here, hopefully. And I tried to make it stable by using rubber bands and stabilizers, but uh, yeah, it didn't work that the best. All right, that should be good. Perfect. Now you've got a decoupler on top of a whatever it's called, an engine. All right, next one. Let's get a small engine now. Let's go ahead and uh, pick this thing up. And go up there and let's put you on. So the small parts have a different peg than the large parts. And this is because I wanted to make sure you didn't intermingle. Uh, the parts, which, you know, I want to make sure you build it right and it looks good. Oh, yeah, see, I glitched out the part. Oops. Uh, can I fix it? Oh, yeah. I'm just that good. I am that good. Even when I mess up, I can still bring it back. Heck yeah. Alright. So now I'm going to need a small decoupler. Uh, I can just enlarge that because it's on the end. Bring this down. Grab it. And pick it up. Woo! Alright. So, why do some of them have lasers, you might ask? Well, that's a good question. And I'm going to answer that right now. So the reason they have lasers is because I, I needed to detect if there was a decoupler below it. And if there is a decoupler below it, when it receives the signal, it won't decouple. So this is how I kind of made it so there's staging. Such as in KSP, that game that I based my channel off of. And 
this is the game that I started playing, and it's very amazing. Or, I started my channel off recording that stuff, and I took a lot of those videos off. Uh, I'm sorry. So now let's get an ASAS, which stands for Automatic Stability Assistance System. I believe is what they said it was in KSP, even though they don't have an official name. Or Sickness Avoidance System, as they also called it. So uh, this will stabilize the rocket uh, and keep it from turning. But uh, you need this module to be kind of high up on the rocket, because otherwise it won't work. It'll invert and it'll actually tip your rocket over. So one more decoupler, small one, and then a pod, and we are good. So, yeah, let's uh, shrink this down, put it down, grab, lift, and we're off. So, uh, how this works? Well. I use these rocket engines, how I, or I use the rocket engines, of course, for rockets, but uh, how do they know when to thrust? And you'll see what I mean uh, in just a second when I launch this. But uh, how do they thrust, and how do they know when? Well, what I did is I took it, and I made, if you notice these wires coming off, I did, if this is not plugged in, and this is plugged in, then if that is uh, receiving a signal, output that signal. So it'll output based on the, uh, the thrust that you want it to, but only if it's staged. So that's why you need to be a decoupler between every single one. But uh, soon I'll be having fuel tanks in my next version. Also in my next version, the parts will snap together. So I have uh, a special snap So that I developed. If you look at my uh, bottle cap, my uh, corking video, You'll, you'll see something like that, but uh, it'll actually snap together. It's pretty awesome. I'm already developing that. Oh, no, 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 no. Saved. I'm just, I have skills. Mad skills. Mad, mad skills. Whew. All right. And now that that's up, we can launch the rocket. So this is going to take us on the journey up to the launch pad. And I like this part because it's very cinematic. But as you can see, uh, the decouplers, if there's a laser coming into it from the bottom, then it will not fire. Um, and I also have the lasers offset so that we, the, you can only use the shroud decoupler. I, I call it a shroud decoupler, it's not really... But uh, as you can see, there's kind of a gap. This will be fixed when I use the snap. Other things. But I thought it was pretty cool. I barely fit most of the electronics on here. Uh, so it's very tightly packed. But uh, <coughs> overall, I think I did pretty well. Uh, my second version will have, you know, more... Uh, it'll have a skin on the outside, so you'll actually be having, like, a... I'm kind of going to go for a... Uh, I'm sorry, an Apollo 11 style rocket. I just made a few cuts, so if you notice that, I'm sorry. Uh, I couldn't think of the name. But uh, yeah, an Apollo 11 style rocket, so you'll have kind of like the, uh, the white with a black stripe running up the middle, which I think is going to look pretty epic. But uh, anyway, let's control the thrust. So as you can see, we're going to take off, and that ASAS is stabilizing up. Now here's the cool part. Let's uh, accelerate. Now watch this. If I decouple, the next one's going to start firing and that one goes off because there's no part along anymore. And as you can see, we're thrusting and that ASAS is keeping us stable. Now if I decouple, it's going to, that ASAS is not going to help us anymore, so we need to send that off. But uh, as you can see, we're pretty much golden. Now we're going to crash down into Earth or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so that works. The decouplers work by deleting themselves. I can do this because I'm using the magnetic clips to kind of hold everything together, but also transfer data. Ooh, that was, that was bouncy. But yeah, that was uh, building a rocket from start to finish, and kind of an explanation. Um, the pod, it just transfers. This is some electronics for this thing. 
And I find it quite interesting how it can find a specific position even though it's using multiples. And I think this is just because they're each going to that position. Which I, is pretty cool actually. I find that quite interesting. How using a group of these you can still get the same exact amount. Uh, the, the way I send this off, this is always powered, but I just have a pixel here, which I can uh, shrink using the alpha channel and a transmitter. But uh, yeah, I didn't use the large decoupler, but you can have multiple stages of these. Uh, and yeah, it doesn't really do anything at the moment because I don't have any fuel. So my second version is going to be amazing. So thank you all for watching. This has been CTJet99 signing off.